जनक राजा कहते हैं कि यू नो आई नाउ कैन बिस्टो द हैंड ऑफ माई डॉटर हुज डियर टू मी देन माई लाइफ मतलब एट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल फादर डॉटर रिलेशन एंड यू नो बट राम जी बोलते हैं कि नो आई हैव टू टेक परमिशन फ्रॉम माई पेरेंट्स फर्स्ट सो इमीजिएटली मैसेजर्स आर सेंट एंड दशरथ एंड द एंटायर रॉयल कॉन्वॉय जनकपुर एंड यू नो दे टेक फोर डेज टू रीच देर एंड वंस ही कम्स देर वंस दशरथ कम्स देर ही ब्रिंग्स अ लॉट ऑफ गिफ्ट सो वी टॉक ऑफ डाउरी बींग अ वन वे थिंग बट यर दशरथ के बेटे की शादी हो रही है एंड ही गिव्स अ लॉट ऑफ गिफ्ट टू किंग जनक सो इट्स टू वे थिंग इट वॉज मोर ऑफ अ रेसिप्रोकल थिंग एटलीस्ट इन दिस स्क्रिप्चर देन एनी थिंग एल्स namaste i welcome you to sangam talks and i welcome sri gorang damani for a talk on the untold stories of the ramayan and ramayan stories are which we have been listening to uh, at bed time at in the morning time at other times since childhood and who doesn't like stories so we may, we may have this talk in two parts today's part 1 second will be around diwali most welcome gorang ji uh, thank you you may take over this talk is on untold stories of ramayan uh, the foundation uh, of this talk is uh, uh, the narration of valmiki ramayan but uh, interspersed with uh, a lot of uh, stories which appear in other uh, scriptures like garud puran or skand puran and uh, they kind of uh, gel very nicely and it gives us a bigger uh, picture on uh, what a fabulous uh, epic ramayan uh, we can start with uh, ayodhya and uh, the narration of ayodhya is uh, that of a very a beautiful well planned city it has wide roads uh, you know it's a fortified city it's on the banks of saryu as we all know and uh, it's guarded by uh, kshatriyas and uh, the description is also very beautiful there are three story and seven story uh, uh, flats uh, basically uh, uh, the 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 reigning king at that time was uh, king nemi he belonged to the illustrious uh, surya vanshi dynasty and uh, he was so valorous and so brave that uh, even indra the uh, king of demigods took his help for fighting against the asur and uh, you know his name was nemi and he acquired the name dashrath uh, because uh, once while fight, fighting against uh, the asur the asur was uh, shambhar and uh, this story comes in puranic encyclopedia Uh, he could uh, the you know being an asura and a rakshas he could uh, create illusions and he created an illusion of being there in 10 places so dashrath uh, moved his rath in 10 directions and he fought and he effectively subdued uh, the asur and that's how he acquired the name of uh, dashrath and uh, as i said you know ayodhya was a very peaceful place and uh, to establish dharma all over the land uh, uh, dashrath also performed uh, ashwamedh yagna and the people of ayodhya are also described as being very cultured uh, very polite to speak to well dressed they ate good food and uh, you know generally people of all varna were very happy in ayodhya uh, so there was peace but uh, what happened once is uh, there was uh, you know astrologically speaking shani was going to enter in uh, the rohini uh, constellation and uh, us- this story comes in skand puran and uh, padma puran to uh, royal court tell him that uh, you know this uh, foretell uh, being a very concerned king dashrath flies his aerial chariot to fight against uh, shani and uh, uh, padma puran also mentions the distance and uh, the distance is an astounding 125000 uh, yojan away and uh, you know he goes to fight shani and shani is obviously very impressed uh with the valor and uh, he says i am just a karma phal data to jo bhi karma phal hai wo to logo ko uh, bhugat nahi padega but uh, because of your bravery i am granting you a boon that whoever chants a, a, a stotra composed by you will be well equipped to face uh, the ill effects of uh, your own karma phal which is implemented by shani and he blesses him and uh, uh, dashrath returns to uh, his kingdom and uh, the, you know varna uh, is a very uh, controversial topic today but uh, varna during the time of uh, dashrath and uh, ram was very clear and uh, the rules were very clear as i mentioned ayodhya was a very peaceful con- uh, city 
and uh, the residents were uh, all very cultured and people of all varna lived there the kshatriyas obviously guarded the uh, uh, fortified city they were uh, learned brahmans and uh, they were also talented artisans and there's a mention of a, a theater also being there so people of all varna lived very peacefully and the story of shravan is also very well known uh, but one very interesting aspect in that story is that uh, shravan was the son of a vaishya father and a shudra mother so uh, again intermingling between varna was uh, uh, happening at that time and uh, after uh, dashrath dashrath had the uh, skill of uh, shabda ved you know where he could fire an arrow based on the sound direction of the sound so during that time uh, he injures shravan uh, fatally and when he goes to speak to his parents uh, his father is uh, upset and so is the mother and uh, dashrath calls the vaishya father a, a rishi and a muni many times which means you know it was not the sole domain of uh, brahman to become a muni or a tapasvi or a rishi and there are many other examples but uh, since we are talking of ramayan the relevant example is that of uh, shravan uh, and uh, the father is upset and he says if you had not confessed your uh, uh, crime then you know your head would have burst into many pieces but since you have uh, you know please take me there and at that spot uh, shravan is escorted to devlok you know which again being the son of a vaishya father and a shudra mother uh, indra himself comes to uh, take him in an aerial chariot to uh, devlok and then the father uh, curses dashrath as we all know that he will also suffer the separation from his uh, son and uh, then moving ahead uh, you know coming to the uh, the family of dashrath uh, dashrath has three folklore she is based called guram near patiala uh, sumitra is from uh, kashi and kaikai is from uh, the uh, kingdom of kaikai which as per uh, uh, historical uh, records uh, it's today's khyber pakhtunkhwa province of pakistan so these are the uh, yes ma'am dashrath is from where yes. no kaushalya kaushalya is from uh, guram near, near patiala near patiala yes oh. and uh, that's I, as per the look yes ma'am i thought kaushalya ji had her village somewhere in madhya pradesh kaushalgaon so yeah there are two kosals in uh, one is in chatisgarh near bilaspur and there is one in odisha and uh, uh, there is a kaushalya temple also there but uh, as per my research and the local folklore of patiala uh, she was uh, the daughter of uh, uh, king su kaushal of uh, guram and uh, you know after uh, shri ram love and kush take over the kingdom and uh, kush becomes the king of ayodhya and he also gets uh, certain kingdoms which include uh, southern kosla which is uh, chatisgarh ka uh, the place which i mentioned and one place in odisha uh, okay so moving ahead uh, you know uh, one very interesting uh, facet of uh, uh, dashrath's life is that he has a daughter and her name is uh, shanta and uh, this story appears in the epic uh, vyas ji ka mahabharat and uh, uh, you know dashrath's friend is uh, the king of uh, angadesh uh, his name is romapad and he is without a child and uh, they are very close friends so he requests uh, dashrath to to give uh, shanta in adoption to him which he does so shanta moves to uh, the anga kingdom uh, which is present day eastern part of bihar and there near bhagalpur there is a town also called uh, champapur which uh, is archaeologically very rich and it is believed that that champa the capital of romapad was the uh, capital that near that is near uh, bhagalpur today bhagalpur today so uh, what happens is as time goes by uh, uh, the king uh, romapad uh, by mistake uh, you know angers some brahmans of his kingdom and due to which they uh, leave the kingdom and there is a heavy drought and uh, the child, uh, the citizens start to suffer so you know he requests the brahman and he pleads that you know uh, you know please come back and please help me so they say that the only way to get uh, rainfall back in the kingdom would be to uh, get a very uh, a good brahmachari into the kingdom and uh, with his entry into the capital city there would be a rainfall and so uh, romapad asks about a suggestion ke kisko bulana chahiye so they recommend the name and his name is rishyashringa and uh, he is in the forest nearby and uh, they say that he is the son of the great tapasvi rishi uh, vibandak and then they narrate the story of why rishi shringa is the ideal candidate to be got to uh, champa they say that vibandak uh, is doing a lot of tapasya in the forest and uh, uh, you know once he sees an apsara and uh, his virya 
uh, falls into the lake and uh, and you know when a deer comes by a female deer who comes to drink water from that lake uh, she uh, uh, takes the virya also and she delivers a child who has a uh, deer like ho uh, horns and that's why the child is named uh, rishya shringa and uh, being in the forest he is not seen anyone else and uh, he is the perfect bachelor so he is the right candidate who can come to the kingdom and uh, rainfall can come again so uh, you know then there is a strategy on how to uh, get uh, rishya shringa to the capital without angering or hurting the sentiments so it is decided to send a, a beautiful courtesan uh, a, a female who can uh, go and uh, you know entice him so that he can come but do it in a nice way so she sent there and uh, you know once vibhandak is away from the ashram she approaches uh, uh, the bachelor and uh, she starts talking to him and uh, rishya shringa is obviously you know he's uh, kamdev does his job uh, there and uh, when she, and when vibhandak is about to come uh, she leaves and uh, uh, vibhandak ji obviously knows that something is uh, something has changed and he finds out that he has just seen a lady so he just cautions him because he is a brahmachari can be careful so again next time he is away uh, this lady uh, brings him uh, to her boat which sails into champa and uh, as destined there is heavy uh, rainfall and again there is uh, an indication that prosperity is going to re return so uh, now uh, romapad the king of anga offers the daughter of uh, the hand of his daughter ashanta and uh, you know they get married and uh, with, in the meantime vibhandak knows that uh, his son is missing so he comes looking so uh, what romapad has done is he has given a lot of uh, villages and uh, areas uh, on the way uh, uh, to to the kingdom from uh, the ashram that he is in so that, you know when vibhandak is traveling he is treated very well by the villagers and they say that uh, it, all these uh, opulences and uh, villages now belong to rishya shringa so he is calmed down by the time he reaches the capital and uh, when he enters the palace he sees his son and uh, his wife that is shanta and he's uh, he uh, cools down and he he blesses the couple and says you can stay here as long as the king wants you here and you can return to the ashram so as per uh, the local folklore uh the ashram of uh, uh, rishya shringa uh, is uh, there is one near munger there is one near madhepura both in bihar and uh, there is a beautiful temple near kullu of uh, rishya shringa ji and uh, shanta devi and also shringeri in karnataka is believed to be uh, one of the ashrams where uh, rishya shringa ji resided and uh, yes yeah so i have something to add on this just to you inform that there is one temple uh dedicated to i mean connected to researching near madhepura so that is this is called singheshwar sthan yes it is called singheshwar sthan i've uh, mentioned that name and the place near munger uh, it's called uh, the relevant place is called rishikund okay but uh, singheshwar and it is very near bhagalpur uh, near that in that region itself and okay, very near mithila also in the mithila region only and uh, uh, this temple uh, it's really shivling is very old it, this temple okay and the unique fact is that uh, this is made of granite okay. and the whole foundation itself and shivling is a one unit of rock wow granite rock i didn't know that it's uh, really was, amazing yeah this was known once when there was it is near koshi river so there was flood and the base was eroded then okay. people came to know that this is this kind of structure wow. and the nearest source of granite is at least 200 kilometers away wow that is amazing so that technology existed uh, in that ancient time wow moving ahead uh, 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 Dashrath uh, now obviously you know he has a huge kingdom and he wants a son who can take over uh, the kingdom uh and then uh, you know he approaches his kula guru uh, vasishta ji and uh, rishi uh, the learned sage advises him to worship uh, uh the goddess uh, kamakshi in kanchi which is in uh, present day uh, tamil nadu so he goes there and worships this uh, story comes in uh, skanda puran and uh, he does a lot of tapasya in kanchi and the goddess appears and she blesses him to have uh, four uh, sons and he returns to ayodhya and uh, uh you know the putreshti yagna as we all know uh, was performed and this was 
conducted and managed by Rishya Sringa ji. And this the, the location of this yagna exists even today in uh, Ayodhya uh, as Dashrat Mahal. So uh, that is where the yagna happened. And uh, you know, while the yagna was being conducted, uh, you know, obviously we all know that we offer uh, we make offerings in the yagna, and these offerings, uh, you know, go to the celestial region and the the, the demigods, the dev, assemble in the celestial region to uh, receive the uh, offerings of this yagna. So at that time, uh, what happens is they discuss, uh, you know, the terror of Ra Ravan, and Ravan has been a terrible uh, rakshas. Uh, he has. We'll discuss it more as we go. But they uh, pray to Vishnu ji, and uh, Vishnu ji appears, and they say that please give us some relief from uh, Ravan. So uh, uh, Vishnu ji agrees to take birth on uh, Earth, and you know, taking birth on Earth is supposed to be a tough thing, uh, even in that time. So he takes birth and there is also a very beautiful story which is relevant why uh, Vishnuji took birth and that story comes in Bhagavad Puran and it's the story of Jay and Vijay. Jay and Vijay uh, are the two doorkeepers of Vaikund, uh, the abode of uh, Vishnuji and once uh, the four uh, devotees of Vishnuji, Sanat Kumar, the four uh, uh, sannyasi devotees of uh, Vishnuji come there and Jay and Vijay, they obstruct uh, th their entry and they make fun of the four uh, Ascetics because they are, you know, they are wearing minimal clothing and they are short in height and uh, they make fun of him and the four Sanat Kumar, they uh, curse Jayan Vijay to take birth on earth. So they, uh, <coughs> sorry, they, uh, you know, they beg for mercy and uh, what uh, the Sanat Kumar tell him that you will have to take four births and then you will be redeemed. The first birth will be as uh, Hiranyaksh and Hiranyakashipu on earth. And you will have to be killed by a Vishnu avatar to get redemption. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, they were killed by Narsing avatar and uh, Vara avatar as we know. And the second birth will be as Ravan and Kumbhakarna. So, which is what happened now. And they've taken birth uh, and uh, that's the second birth. And they will have to be killed by a Vishnu avatar. Which is why Vishnuji agrees to take uh, birth on earth and listen to the Dev. And their third birth would be in... Uh, just before Kalyug, uh, as Shishupal and Dantavakra, whom uh, God Krishna kills them both, uh, the king of Cheri and uh, the king of uh, Karush, which is present day Burma. And then, as, the, as their fourth birth, they would get redemption as Jay and Vijay. So, that is another reason why Vishnuji takes birth. And uh, a divine uh, a body appears from the Yagna and he offers uh, Payasam Prasad to uh, Dashrat and tells him to give it to his wives. So he takes half and gives it to Kaushalya. Uh, the half of that half he gives to Sumitra. And uh, one-eighth he gives to uh, Kaikai. And which is again one-eighth he gives to Sumitra. So that is how the four uh, 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 princes are... Prince are uh, Vayu Puran mentions that, uh, you know, we, we go to temples and we see uh, Ramji in uh, a blue color uh, Pratima. And we always, at least I always used to wonder why blue? And uh, Vayu Puran mentions that uh, uh, Sri Ram was born with a blue uh, skin with a dark uh, tone, skin tone. So that uh, is uh, validated from Vayu Puran. And, uh, you know, as they grow up, they uh, learn the necessary skills as are required to be learned by a Kshatriya. And uh, that makes Dashrat very happy. Okay. So uh, in Ayodhya, Rishi uh, Vishwamitra comes to the court and... Uh, you know, he's welcomed very warmly by uh, Dashrat and he says, I'm willing to serve you as per your wish. And uh, Vishwamitra ji says, Ke unki jo tapasya hai, usme bhang ho hai because the Rakshas come and they throw filth uh, in the Yagna Kund and he's not able to perform the Yagna. So he needs help uh, to uh, kill those Rakshas and he wants Ram to accompany him. So Dashrat ji says Ke he's not even uh, 16 years old and uh, I, I don't know if he'll be able to deal with the Rakshas. So he's trying to bypass uh, the promise and uh, Vishwamitra ji starts to get angry. So uh, uh, Vasish Trishi bolte hai ke, uh, the famous uh, thing, Pran jaya pan vachan na jaya. So he says, you've given your word, so you have to keep your word. And uh, uh, Ram ji uh, is requested to come to the court. And, uh, you know, he's a 15 year old uh, boy at that time. And uh, Vasish Muni, unko, jase, uh, uh, Mahabharat mein Bhagavad Gita hai, vaise yog Vasish is the equivalent here. Uh, so he narrates uh, Yog Vasishta, which is the spiritual shared with Ram. And uh, then, you know, uh, he tells K. Lakshman also should accompany uh, 
uh, Sri Ram to the forest with Vishwamitra and they proceed. So when they proceed, uh, Vishwamitra ji teaches them Bal Atibal Mantra, which is at present day Sherva Ghat. Uh, then they proceed and then uh, they come to Kameshwar uh, before uh, he got married to Parvati ji. And then as they proceed further, uh, you know, they uh, Ram uh, confronts Tadkasur and he kills her. She has the strength of thousand uh, elephants. She's that strong, but Ram is able to overcome her. And, uh, you know, they reach Vaman Ashram, which is present day Baksar. And Kameshwar, by the way, is uh, present day near Balya uh, in UP. And uh, Baksar is where Tadkasur was killed. Uh, so there is a Charitra one also where it is believed that she was killed. And there is a Ram Rekha Ghat also where he freshened up after killing her. And they take rest in uh, Siddha Ashram. And uh, the next day, uh, Vishwamitra ji teaches uh, uh, them all the uh, uh, celestial weapons, you know, uh, right up to Brahmastra. So uh, after uh, he teaches uh, them a range of all the uh, weapons, uh, because uh, Tadkasur is gone, but Mahabharat says that Subahu and Marich are the two children of uh, Tadkasur who are still alive. And then he goes ahead and uh, uses Mana Vastra to throw Marich uh, 100 Yojan away into the ocean. And uh, then he uh, kills Subahu. And there is great rejoicing in the area because uh, uh, the other Rakshas also are taken care of. And the Brahmins there, they rejoice because now they are able to perform their Yagna without any interruption. So uh, that's, uh, you know, that's the achievement in that place. And then, uh, you know, uh, Vishwamitra ji says, okay, let's go to Mithila. And uh, the kingdom of uh, Videha is the uh, place where uh, King Janak is the king. And, you know, they uh, they proceed and uh, Valmiki Raman says they stop at uh, Son Badra, which is present day uh, Son River uh, in uh, Bihar. And there is a hai Parev, which is where it is believed they uh, stayed for the night. Uh, they cross the cross the river and they uh, stop at Ram Chaura. There is a temple there today. And then they uh, meet uh, King Sumati of uh, Vaishali, the prehistoric city of Vaishali. And uh, the king welcomes them and the other sages who are accompanying the three uh, very warmly. And there is even a site called uh, Raja Vishal Kagad in Vaishali, which exists even today. So from there they proceed and uh, on the outskirts of uh, Mithila, which is the capital of Videha, uh, is, uh, you know, there is a desolate ashram, which uh, Ramji asked, what is this? And that is where uh, Gautam Rishi had set Ahilya into stone. And the event was uh, Indra, the king of the Dev demigods, had taken a liking for Ahilya. And uh, he, uh, once when Gautam Rishi was away, he took his form and he approached Ahilya. And Ahilya knows who he is, but out of curiosity and desire, you know, they... Uh, uh, they perform calm and uh, and she tells him to leave immediately before uh, Rishi comes back and on his way out they bump into each other and uh, Gautam Rishi curses him to have a thousand marks of uh, uh, a woman's private part on his body and he pleads a lot and then you know later on it is reduced to thousand eyes and then he uh, uh, curses Ahelia to become a stone so she again uh, uh, you know begs for forgiveness and uh, He's, he says, okay, then when God touches you with his foot, you will be redeemed. And he himself goes and performs tapasya. So this is mentioned in, I, I think, Brahma Puran, uh, where he himself goes and does tapasya so he can re reunite with his wife. And uh, then, you know, they proceed uh, northwards, is uh, said in the scriptures, and they reach a place where uh, King Janak is doing a massive yagna. And uh, this place, as per folklore in Nepal, is Rangabhumi in uh, Janakpur, present-day Janakpur. So there, uh, the king warmly welcomes uh, Vishwamitra and uh, Ramji and Lakshman. And uh, he tells them that, you know, he gives the background of uh, having found uh, Sita in the ground and that uh, he had uh, arranged for a swayamvar. And the bow uh, that he had received, his forefathers had received from Shivji, uh, ki baat chalti hai. and after uh, destroying Tripurasur, uh, you know, the three space cities, he had given the bow to, uh, Shivji had given the bow to uh, the Janak dynasty and wo parampara se chale aara tha. And then uh, he says that no one has been able to, uh, you know, even lift, even Ravan had tried, but he could not even lift uh, or move the, uh, uh, the bow and uh, like other kings. 
and then he says that sita as a child used to uh, effortlessly move the bow around so he that's why he had kept such a uh, swamvar so he invites uh, ramji to uh, you know lift the bow and which he does as we all know he lifts it and when he strings it it breaks into two but the sound is so huge uh, it uh, that you know a piece of that bow also falls in a place called dhanushdam which is 23 kilometers away uh, so that is the impact and the power of that bow which by the way before this incident of uh, 5000 uh, men had to carry it on a cart push it on a cart and bring it here so ye jab hota hai tab uh, uh, janak raja kehte hai ki you know i now can bestow the hand of my daughter who's dearer to me than my life matlab that's a very beautiful uh, father daughter relation uh, and you know but ram ji bolte hai ki no i have to take permission uh, from my parents first so immediately messengers are sent and dashrath and the entire royal convoy uh, uh janakpur and uh, uh you know they take four days to reach there and once he comes there uh, once uh, dashrat comes there he brings a lot of gifts so we talk of dowry uh, being a one way thing but uh, here dashrat ke bete ki shaadi ho rahi hai and he gives a lot of gifts uh, to king janak so it two way thing it was more of a reciprocal thing uh, at least in this scripture than anything else so uh, that is uh, you know when then dashrat ji asks obviously it is little uh, strange that how can you know a, a a baby girl be found in the ground inside when he's plowing the field so wahan pe shatanand rishi uh, jo hote hai wo uh, he's the son of gautam rishi and ahelya and he's the kul guru of janak so he says okay let me now give you the story and this story comes in anand ramayan so uh, the story is that there was a king called padmaksh and he saw that his uh, citizens were very affluent because they used to worship goddess lakshmi so lakshmi ji ki wo bhi puja karne jata hai kyunki unko bhi affluence chahiye and he worships uh, lakshmi ji and vishnu ji and after a long tapasya they appear and he says ke lakshmi ji please aap uh, you take birth uh, uh, as my daughter and uh, so he says ke he request uh, lakshmi ji to take uh, birth as his daughter and uh, the way it happens is uh, they give him a fruit and when he opens the fruit uh you know a baby girl appears and that is the reincarnation of lakshmi ji so when she grows up uh, he arranges a swayamvar and it's a very difficult swayamvar because you know lakshmi ji ka swaroop hai and uh, a lot of uh, powerful kings including asur and uh, ravan also come but they fail in the swayamvar and they get disappointed because they are enchanted by this maiden and there is a fight in which padmaksh is killed you know she jumps into a fire before ravan could capture or kidnap her and uh, ravan pours a lot of water in that fire but all that remains is only five gems which he picks up he puts it in a casket and he gets it to lanka to lanka mein wo rakh dete hai and then next day he discusses this uh, event with his wife mandodari and mandodari is believed to be from uh, present day mandor in rajasthan to mandodari ko batate wo story to when they open the casket they see a beautiful uh, girl and he you know mandodri knowing uh, very well how her husband is she says immediately uh, you please take her out of lanka and uh, you know we say lakshmi is fickle and the, the reason is given by mandodri and the reason is very beautiful the reason that is given is that uh, lakshmi is stable only in a house which uh, belongs to a jitendriya who has uh, control over his senses and she knows very well ravan is not a jitendriya so uh, unke kehne pe ravan agrees and he tells his soldiers to drop her back and uh, what uh, mandodri says ke don't only uh, leave her on the mainland but also bury her so that so uh, so they the soldiers of uh, lanka they drop her and they bury her in the uh, ground and this location is uh, sitamadi in uh, bihar present day bihar and uh, as we all know janak then finds a baby girl in the ground when he's using a plow and he acquires the name sirat dwaj and uh, he names that baby girl as sita and hearing the story dashrath is in awe and you know he decides uh, to he also they also mutually agree that lakshman should marry uh, the other daughter of uh, janak which is urmila and uh, dashrath ji ke jo bhai the uh, pushat dwaj unki do daughters thi mandvi and shrutrakriti will marry bharat and uh, shatrugna so then after uh, the wedding ceremonies are over uh, janak uh, also gives a lot of gifts uh, to the brides and uh, and they depart and the the departure ka route is they stop at sitamadi and then they stop at motihari and there is still a ritual which is carried by newly married couples uh, 
सो दे स्टॉप एट मोती हरी एंड देन दे रीच अ प्लेस वेयर तो दो हरी घाट है माऊ डिस्ट्रिक्ट में यूपी में दैट इज वेयर परशुराम जी कम्स एंड देयर ही चैलेंजेस श्री राम एंड दशरथ वेरी पोलाइटली यू नो कम्स हिम डाउन बिकॉज ही नोज परशुराम जी का क्रोध एंड uh, जब वो उनको काम काम डाउन करता है तो ही सेज के ओके दिस इज विष्णु जी इज बो आई वॉन्ट टू सी हिज स्ट्रेंथ तो राम जी वो बो को उठाते हैं एंड ही फायर्स एन एरो इन द स्काई एंड इट इज़ अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सेलेस्टियल बो एंड यू नो वंस दैट बो इज फायर देर इज देर आर मीट योर फॉलोइंग एंड यू नो द साइंस आर सच दैट परशुराम जी नो उसके ये विष्णु अवतार ही है एंड ही डिसाइड्स टू लीव and uh, his house or his abode is mahendra parvat in gajapati district present day odisha to jab wo jate hai tab wo rishi dattatrey ji ko milte hai to rishi dattatrey ji uh, uh, at that time uh, this story comes in tripura rahasya which is a phenomenal text for tantra it is a brilliant uh, text for uh, achieving moksha and understanding the concepts of uh, chitta consciousness and uh, adi shakti तो वहाँ पे दत्तात्रेय ऋषि उनको समझाते हैं त्रिपुरा रहस्य शेयर करते हैं एंड देन यू नो परशुराम गोज टू इज अ बोर्ड एंड द रॉयल कॉनवाई रीचेज अयोध्या इन अयोध्या देर आर सेरेमनीज दैट यू नो टिपिकली हैपन फॉर न्यूली वेड कपल्स एंड देन यू नो राम जी स्टार्ट परफॉर्मिंग इज ड्यूटीज एज अ ओबीडियंट सन एंड ऑल्सो एज अ हजबेंड एंड सर्वेशु इति राम करके एक फ्रेज है वाल्मीकि रामायण में सो द डिस्क्रिप्शन इज गिवन वाई डू एवरी वन लव राम जी सो मच एंड द डिस्क्रिप्शन इज एवरी ऑल कर्मज आर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री जनरली फिजिकल वर्बल एंड मेंटल सो दे डिस्क्राइब दैट हिज फिजिकल बिहेवियर वॉज एक्सलेंट इट ही वॉज वेरी ओबीडियंट टू द एल्डर्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम इफ दे वॉज अ क्रिमिनल ही वॉज वेरी हार्श ऑन द क्रिमिनल हिज verbal karma is also amazing he is very soft spoken very polite he always starts with nice pleasant words and he is not, not uh, he always speaks the truth kabhi jhoot nahi bolte and unke thoughts bhi bahut pure hai and his heart is also very pure towards all others so that is why he is the beloved of all the three queens and even his uh, brothers and the people also love him uh, but as we all know the tragedy happened after uh, 12 years of marriage to wo mantra ka story hai we will not go there but मतलब यू नो भरत इज एट दैट टाइम इन कई कई खाइबर पख्तूनख्वा इन पाकिस्तान विजिटिंग इज मेटर्नल अंकल मामा जी युद्ध जीत नाम था उनका तो उनके वहाँ वो थे तो तो यू नो एट दैट टाइम द कॉरोनेशन वॉज टू हैपन बिकॉज दशरथ गेट्स अ वेरी बैड ड्रीम एंड दैट्स वाई इन हेस्ट डिसाइड्स टू मेक राम द किंग ऑफ अयोध्या एंड जब अयोध्या और सॉरी जब दशरथ जी और कई कई का की बात होती है देन ही सेंड्स इज चैरियटर सुमंत्र टू राम्स पैलेस एंड टेल्स हिम टू कम देयर तो दशरथ चोक्स एंड ही इज नॉट एबल टू स्पीक ऑन व्हाट हैज हैपेंड दैट कई कई वांट्स हिम टू नॉट बिकम द किंग एंड गो टू एग्जाइल फॉर फोर्टीन इयर्स सो दैट भरत कैन बिकम द किंग सो ही इज नॉट एबल टू से दैट बट कई कई सेज इट एंड द ब्यूटिफुल डिस्क्रिप्शन इज दैट देर इज देर इज एब्सोलूटली नो चेंज इन द एक्सप्रेशन फिजिकल और वर्बल और इन द माइंड राम जी के एंड ही Uh, is an absolute perfect example of sthit pragnya he accepts the decision and he says that i cannot live even for a moment uh, disobeying my father's words and uh, he said i'll obey my uh, in this case step mother also so then he decides to go and then he meets kaushalya sita ji insist on uh, accompanying him it is not that he wanted her to come he in fact warns her that there are many uh, problems in the forest many dangers but she insists to come and uh, and lakshman ji also joins him and then they take uh, leave and uh, the charioter takes them out of ayodhya so we can go to the next slide there is a so while crossing the river uh, sita ji prays to ganga and yamuna ji and uh, you know there she says that at the completion of the uh, exile she will come and pray again and that is uh, confirmed in anand ramayan where they do come after the exile to pray in at ganga and uh, yamuna एंड uh, वहाँ पे फिर वो केवट की नाव की स्टोरी है वेर दे क्रॉस द रिवर एट श्रृंगवेरपुर टूडे ऑल्सो देर इज अ टाउन ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ रिवर गंगा वेर द निषाद किंग गुह हु वॉज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ राम जी ही हेल्प्स हिम क्रॉस द रिवर एंड देन द चैरियटर इज सेंड बैक टू अयोध्या एंड द फर्स्ट नाइट दे स्पेंड इन द फॉरेस्ट अगेन राम जी रिक्वेस्ट लक्ष्मण के अगर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिटर्न प्लीज रिटर्न लक्ष्मण रिफ्यूजेज एंड देन दे प्रोसीड टू दी संगम ऑफ गंगा यमुना एंड सरस्वती 
where they meet uh, rishi bharadwaj and uh, they uh, uh, you know they say that they want they have to stay in a forest so they ask for a recommended site which is chitrakoot in this case so then they cross yamuna ji and uh, on from the southern banks they uh, reach uh, chitrakoot where they meet valmiki ji also and they give him uh, the respect which he deserves and then uh, lakshman sets up a beautiful cottage and they stay at chitrakoot meanwhile uh, uh, vasishth muni has sent the messengers to uh, get bharat because dashrath has passed away as we all know uh, in uh, uh, you know in the sorrow of uh, his son leaving the kingdom so uh, it takes 7 days for bharat to return and uh, the journey uh, the messengers take is very beautifully described the the chariot uh, the uh, messengers cross to the area of panchal desh which is present day and that day kampil and ahishatra and then they uh, reach hastinapur they cross hastinapur they cross puru jungle which is haryana state of present and hastinapur is near present day meerut and they reach balik which is a uh, bactria marciana archaeological complex uh, in uh, northern afghanistan bordering pakistan and then they reach kai kai and then the uh, uh, the prince the two princes that is bharat and shatrughna return and when he finds out about this you know he scolds his mother and he decides to uh, follow uh, and uh, you know get ramji back and uh, when he reaches uh, shringwerpur and he sees uh, you know where ramji slept he takes a decision that jab tak uh, ram shri ram wapas nahi aata hai ayodhya he will also sleep like that uh, and you know he adopts the uh, attire of a sanyasi ascetic and then he reaches bharadwaj rishi uh, and bharadwaj army is kept some distance away and uh, bharadwaj rishi then finds out ke nahi the intentions are genuine he magic uh, through his yogic powers he creates a feast for the entire army and he tells them that ramji abhi chitrakoot mein hai so bharat ji wahan uh, pe chitrakoot pahunchte hai and then there is bharat milap as we know there is a temple also called bharat milap temple in uh, chitrakoot where the two brothers met is it is astonishing you know and unparalleled that two brothers are fighting okay you take the kingdom so it is worth repeating though all of you have heard this many times it is really worth repeating because it has never happened before it may never happen again and you know the celestials come from the sky and they tell bharat ke please abhi aap jaiye bade bhai ki aagya maniye and uh, accordingly bharat goes with the uh, slippers of uh, ram ji and he rules from a place outside ayodhya which is nandigram and there is a place called nandigaon even today near ayodhya and this place is mentioned very clearly in skanda puran so it is not only folklore but skanda puran reinforces what valmiki raman says so all these scriptures are uh, matching and uh, then uh, after some time ram ji uh, expresses a wish ke mujhe chitrakoot se jana hai so let's go somewhere else because uh, you know he wanted to go other places they, they come down little bit uh, come south and the atri rishi and uh, anusuya devi ke ashram pe aate hai and anusuya devi is the supreme example of a pati vrata wife uh, and she also appreciates what uh, sita ji has done and she blesses them and wahan pe uh, the other rishis come and they say that rakshas really ha- harass them and they come from the dandak one and they harass uh, the rishis and they interrupt their uh, uh, yogic and uh, dharmic practices so they decide to go further south and there the encounter happens with uh, the rakshas called virad and there is a virad kund there near anusuya devi chitrakoot ke paas mein hi hai and there the encounter happens where uh, you know virad is buried and there is a pond there today from there he they go further south and there uh, sharbang rishi se mulakat hoti hai there is a sharbang rishi ashram even today uh, near this place and sharbang rishi is a tapasvi and uh, you know he is there is a aerial chariot waiting to take him to devlok but he is waiting because he says mujhe pata chala ki shri ram is in the area so i wanted to do his darshan and then take leave and there again uh, he meets uh, shri ram and he advises them to meet uh, sutikshan rishi Uh, and then he takes the aerial uh, route to devlok so sutikshan uh, uh, rishi ka ashram bhi pass mein saleha karke gaon hai madhya pradesh mein so there they meet him and uh, there they express a desire that you know they want to travel and take care of the rakshas so there is a 10 year uh, description of that uh, travels in valmiki ramayan and if uh, all the places fall perfectly in place uh, jo map uh, wali slide thi तो छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट हैज कम आउट विद देयर ऑफिशियल रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ वेयर श्री राम सीता एंड लक्ष्मण स्टॉप एंड देर इज अ बिफोर दैट देर इज अ फॉरेस्ट कॉल्ड बांधवगढ़ नियर सतना इन मध्य प्रदेश 
so there is a forest also called bandavgarh bandav meaning two brothers and there is a lakshman kila uh, inside uh, bandavgarh and uh, this is where it is believed they stopped uh, and uh, the other locations are as described in the chatisgarh government the squares indicate that these are uh, local folklore locations and the circles indicate where the scriptures have mentioned it and uh, they reach uh, bhadrachalam uh, which is in uh, telangana and uh, from there they as per folklore uh, they stopped at uh, mahur where there's a very ancient uh, beautiful shiv temple in the middle of the woods uh, it's at the base of uh, uh, renuka devi uh, hill and then from there ramtek is a famous location where they stopped and then they again as promised after 10 years they meet sudekshna uh, rishi so sudekshna rishi ko milne ke time uh, then you know uh, there is some research or some questions as to where he they may have met so from there uh, it is said that they went south and because he want uh, shri ram wanted to meet agastya muni and so he gives the direction and they move in the southern direction and near panchwati which is present day nasik uh, there are many locations in panchwati which attest to the presence of uh, ram there uh, ankai fort hai aaj bhi panchwati ke paas and that this is where uh, they meet agastya muni agastya rishi gives him uh, a uh, 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 very uh, very nice bow made by vishwakarma just studded with gold and uh, other uh, precious met, uh, elements and he ordering arrows because he probably could with his yogic wisdom forecast what is going to happen and he also uh, gives shri ram a, a sword of indra and uh, so ram ji poochte hai ki where should we set up our uh, abode and he recommends panchwati which is how they reach there and uh, it is further collaborated by uh, Uh, two stories one is a phenomenal story in garud puran uh, where uh, you know they go to pushkar to perform uh, shraddh rituals for the uh, forefather to wahan pe garud puran mein description aisa hai ki uh, uh, shri ram and sita ji are feeding the uh, sages there uh, as a part of the uh, rituals brahman ko khela raha hai and suddenly sita ji rushes away from the scene and she hides behind a tree and uh, ram ji continues doing what he is doing and then after completing he asks sita ji ke you know why did you run away to so, sita ji kehti hai ki you know she saw three generations of his forefathers coming down through the aerial route to accept the pindadan matlab this is the only evidence i have come across where uh, in the first place where they have come down to accept the pindadan and she and she says that they were wearing royal clothes and she was wearing her clothes were soiled dirty because obviously vanvas mein hai so she felt uh, uh, embarrassed or she felt shy and that's why she uh, took uh, she hid behind the tree so that is one incident and uh, it uh, matches with the local folklore of a uh, wildlife sanctuary called sita mata near chittor in rajasthan so inside this uh, forest there is a sita mata temple and there is valmiki ashram and there are other archaeological sites inside this place so they come come back to panchwati and brahma puran says that unhone fir ek bar uh, pindadan kiya on the banks of godavari in uh, brahma puran uh, gautami mahatmya uh, mai iska ullekh hai and then as per folklore they worship uh, goddess durga at saptashringi uh, temple nearby and now uh, you know uh, we come back to the original uh, question of ravan because lot of there is lot of uh, confusion about ravan मतलब लॉट ऑफ पीपल कॉल हिम ब्राह्मण का लड़का विच ही वॉज बट देर आर सो मेनी स्टोरीज अबाउट हिम विच आर नॉट कॉमनली नोन बट विच आर वर्थ नरेटिंग बिगर पिक्चर ऑफ रामायण द प्राइम वन बींग दैट ब्राह्मण ऋषि विश्व के लड़के तो थे हिज मदर वॉज कैकसी वॉज अ राक्षसी विच ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल नो बट शी वॉज अ हाइब्रिड ऑफ अ राक्षसी एंड अ पिशाच so that story is lesser known so uh, yatudhan karke jo uh, uh, hybrid thi uski descendant thi kaikasi and from her with the blessings of uh, rishi vishrava uh, she gets uh, four children uh, which we all know uh, ravan kumbhakarna vibhishan and shurpanka and rishi vishrava ka ashram is supposed to be or believed to be in bisrak village in up a little south of little near uh, delhi present day delhi सो विश्रवा की जो पहली पत्नी थी उनके उनके थ्रू उनका लड़का था देवा वर्णिनी वॉज हर नेम एंड विश्रवा वॉज द सन ऑफ पुलस्त ऋषि तो जो विश्रव के पहले बेटे थे कुबेर थे तो कुबेर जी ने हैड डन लॉट ऑफ तपस्या टू प्लीज ब्रह्मा जी एंड ब्रह्मा जी हेड गिवन द बून ऑफ बिकमिंग द ट्रेजरर ऑफ द सेलेस्टियल्स एंड ऑब्वियसली बींग द ट्रेजरर ही हैज लॉट ऑफ पॉप्युलेंस वेल्थ 
and ek bar kai kasi uh, when she sees him she mocks ravan and she encourages him to match uh, his half brother's uh, wealth so then ravan goes to gokarna which is in present day uh, karnataka state and he does uh, severe tapasya to please uh, brahma ji and then we know that brahma ji gives him the boon so ravan asks for immortality but he forgets to ask vulnerability against uh, uh, humans and uh, you know kumbhakarna also asks uh, for uh, इमोर्टेलिटी देन ही आस्क फॉर इंदिरासन बट ही तो देव जो है इंद्र जी सरस्वती माता को रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं कि ही इंद्र बिफोर सो ही रिक्वेस्ट सरस्वती माता फॉर हेल्प एंड शी डिसाइड्स ऑन द टंग ऑफ कुंभकर्ण एंड दैट निंद्रासन बिकम्स इंद्रासन बिकम्स निंद्रासन एंड ही एंड अप आस्किंग फॉर दैट स्लीप एंड ब्रह्मा जी ऑब्वियसली इमीजिएटली ग्रांड्स दैट बूड एंड रावण देन अपियर्स एंड you know he gets it change where he can get up for some time and uh, refresh his uh, uh, food and then he can go back to sleep and vibhishan ke samne jab brahma ji aate hai to he says ke i just want to be a devotee and uh, be able to meditate on god so he gets the boon of a long life uh, immortality till the end of that era and uh, that's how uh, ravan becomes powerful and he uses this power first against kuber he drives him out of lanka because lanka ke raja kuber the yaksh used to live there and kuber is driven to uh, kailash and uh, ravan is not satisfied he drives him away from kailash and kuber is uh, and he takes his pushpa kuman so kuber now resides near badrinath of which area he is a dwarpal and uh, there is a beautiful uh, kuber valley so from badrinath if you go to you may have heard of mana village Uh, from mana village it's a small 5 6 km trek vasudhara falls hai and beyond vasudhara falls is uh, where kuber valley is it's on uh, the banks of a glacier uh, alaknanda so that description is there in the scripture and it matches with the present day geography and uh, then he comes back to lanka and he starts defeating many kings but the important ones are he uh, kills uh, a suryavanshi killed a king called anaranya who curses him uh, to die at the hands of a future suryavanshi king then uh, he also uh, defeats da- daitya danav uh, you know the dev and uh, unwittingly he kills uh, shurpanka's husband vidyut jeev and he makes his own sister a widow and he also uh, he obviously he is killing uh, the kings and the celestials but he also kidnaps their ladies and narsimha puran mein iska ullekh hai ki he kidnaps many princesses and apsaras and he takes them to lanka and keeps them captive so that also was one bad part and uh, he uh, you know then uh, he fights against he kills uh, varun dev's son varun is the uh, demigod of the waters the other problem was that he was very lustful and as i said narsimha puran mein hai ki he was capturing the princesses and apsaras but he also was a very uh, he molested uh, uh, a lot of ladies to ek vedvati naam ki ek uh, tapasvi lady thi who was doing tapasya and uh, vaman puran mein iska ullekh hai ki where she did tapasya she did tapasya in pushkar in gandamadan uh, mountains which is near badrinath and then she was doing tapasya in vedvati tirth in kurukshetra which is still there uh, there is a vedvati tirth there and uh, because she wanted to uh, marry vishnu ji so ravan comes there and he says are why you want to marry Mish- uh, vishnu uh, you marry me and he tries to molest her and she jumps into a kund because she says i don't want to curse you and lose my ascetic uh, merits because you know tapasya karte to bahut powers accumulate hote hai so but before consuming herself in the fire she uh, she says she will become the cause of his death so this part is very important because we will refer to it little later and uh, there is a uh, vedvati kund nearby in kurukshetra region where this incident happened so he also uh, he forces himself upon an apsara called punjika sthala and uh, you know she is reborn so i'll narrate the story here since we are talking about it so punjika sthala uh, is crum- i mean the description is she is left crumpled like a you know she is left as a left behind in a very miserable state and she uh, starts volunteering at rishi brihaspati's ashram who's the uh, guru of the dev so some time passes by and then you know once she happens to see couples uh, sporting and playing jal krida doing jal krida so she comes back to the ashram and she expresses a romantic desire to uh, brihaspati who gets angry and who curses her to become a monkey so when she pleads for uh, forgiveness uh, uh, brihaspati ji bolte hai ki theek hai you will give birth to a celestial and then uh, you will come back to devlok 
सो पूंजी का स्थला इज द लेडी हु रीबॉर्न एज अंजनी देवी हनुमान जी की मदर सो शी इज रीबॉर्न एज अ मंकी एंड शी बिकम्स द वाइफ ऑफ केसरी द मंकी किंग सो देन मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट स्टोरी विच इज रेलिवेंट इज रंभा सो वेन रावण हेड अटैक द देव लोक टू कॉन्कर देव लोक तो वहाँ पे ही सीज रंभा एंड रंभा इज द वाइफ ऑफ नल कुबेर एंड नल कुबेर इज द डॉटर इन लॉ ऑफ कुबेर एंड शी से एंड यू नो ही ट्राइज टू फोर्स हिमसेल्फ ऑन रंभा एंड शी सेज अरे आई एम यू नो शी इज द बहू एंड यू नो बहू इज लाइक अ बेटी एंड कुबेर की बेटी बहू है तो आपकी भी बहू हुई बट ही डजेंट लिसन एंड ही फोर्स इज हिमसेल्फ अपॉन हर एंड देन दिस स्टोरी कम्स इन दैपिक महाभारत वेर नल कुबेर कम्स टू द कोर्ट ऑफ रावण एंड ही कर्सेज हिम दैट इफ ही फोर्स इज हिमसेल्फ ऑन एनी अदर लेडी हिज हेड विल बर्स्ट सो दिस इज द कर्स ऑफ नल कुबेर विच प्रोटेक्टेड सीता इन कैप्टिविटी वेन शी वॉज टेकन टू लंका but ravan being the arrogant person he uh, you know walks towards kailash and he tries to lift it so the mount- mountain is shaken parvati ji gets worried and this is where uh, shivji decides that enough is enough and he gives a he uh, he decrees that now this is uh, where, you know this is the time where ravan's end will happen and uh, he keeps him down for thousands of years under kailash and when he's uh, Uh, buried under the mountain he lets out a huge scream so the original name of this rakshas was dashagriva because he had 10 necks but because of this scream uh, he is called ravan so he becomes known as ravan as per shiv puran so then you know after doing lot of tapasya lot of pleading uh, bolenath lets him go and the shameless ravan asks for uh, uh, a, you know a gift in return and he asks for the chandrahas sword so again uh, shivji gives it to him but says if it is misused it will come back to me and he does misuse it modgalya rishi tapasya mein hote hai and he had kept a yogdand behind his neck because he is in tapasya and uh, uh, you know being the arrogant person that he is he uh, knocks off the yogdand and he falls and injures uh, the rishi falls and injures his back and the uh, the sword returns back to shivji and he comes back to lanka and Na- narad ji is obviously happy that uh, you know shivji has now said that the end is near so now you know what happens next is we come back to panchvati if you remember uh, shri ram sita and lakshman are in panchvati and uh, shurpan ka approaches uh, shri ram and then she approaches uh, lakshman and she is denied by both and she wants to kill uh, ha sir uh, jo aapne abhi story batayi gola gogar nath ki hmm. Hmm. we have already marked that place vaidyanath same story we hear about vidyanath also ram yes same story and uh, uh, this shivling uh, that is very uh, low in height from the base and one side uh, it is uh, depressed it is told that ravan could not lift it so then he pressed his thumb with his thumb he uh, depressed it so uh, after few years few hundred years it uh, that when he says almost when he says after worshiping so many years then again a layer of uh, granite stone is laid over that okay. so i wonder that if uh, how these two are connected then why they not so gola gokarna nath is not where uh, shivji appeared uh, jyotirling vaidyanath uh, which is in devgar jharkhand uh, is where uh, i think there are two other vaidya uh, vaidyanaths which i have been blessed enough to do darshan at one is parli vaidyanath uh, in uh, maharashtra state and the other is vaidyanath in uttarakhand so the story it i don't think it can be uttarakhand though shivji might have appeared there at some other time because it says uh, you know from kailash he went south so it can be either parli vaidyanath vaidyanath or it can be vaidyanath ha boliye so there is also a vaidyanath in himachal pradesh Oh. the second one you said is in uttarakhand i had heard it was somewhere in bihar but maybe uttarakhand now uh, so the first page not is near palampur where it, the same story goes okay that he handed it to a shepherd because uh, he just wanted to relieve himself and the shepherd put it down because it okay. was too heavy so hmm. i uh, did not know about the himalay uh, himachal pradesh uh, Uh, shivling but the reason uh, gola gokarna and, matters ha ah, boli na and the same vaidyanath uh, hmm. vaidyanath is called the medicine buddha in tibetan buddhism and worshiped as the medicine buddha yes 
so the reason i chose uh, devghar uh, is because shiv puran clearly says he restores the nine uh, heads of ravan as a vaidya as a physician and the name given in parli is parli bejnath and the one in uh, uttarakhand or himachal is again bejnath so that is why i would like to think that it is this but one very fascinating aspect is whenever uh, i read the scriptures on this uh, topic i see uh, some small discrepancies and that connects me to yog uh, vasishta where there is a story of kak busandi so he is an immortal crow uh, who has lived for many gen- uh, generations many uh, manvantara so someone asks him ke what have you seen and what do you notice which is unique so he says for the last 3 uh, Uh, manvantara all the events are repeating exactly the way it is so which means you know this may have happened multiple times and i'm sure many of you may have heard similar stories and uh, whatever the local folklore is i personally believe they are not false they may have some uh, variations with the scripture but uh, this may have happened multiple times is what i think and we will see a little further for example in kerala there are three places uh like ek shabri a, a peet hai and uh, there is a i've been to uh, kishkinda there is a uh, shabri gufa and a pump sarovar there which is where shabri met uh, shri ram but there is a shabri peetam in kerala then there is ramakal medu also in kerala which has the footprints of shri ram so as per the route which we will uh, which we will see in the subsequent slide you know he probably did not go there uh, as per valmiki ramayan while searching for sita and uh, you know ha ah, to this one so and chadai mangalam is a place where uh, jatayu's uh, stone sculpture was recently made so panchwati mein we all know what happened uh, khar and dushan uh, uh, attack uh, and you know they are killed by shri ram and then shurpan ka akampan uh, goes to uh, uh, so what happens is in panchwati when uh, sita is kidnapped uh, marich comes as a deer we know that story yes this one and uh, so many scriptures mention that ravan does not uh, capture or kidnap uh, sita ji he captures maya sita if you now recollect the story of vedvati uh, you know where she was molested in uh, kurukshetra and she promised to be the reason for his uh, downfall so she uh, takes uh, agni mein pravesh karti hai so at this point where ravan is kidnapping sita it is uh, agni dev as mentioned in the scriptures listed agni dev exchanges uh, sita with maya sita and uh, the chaya sita or maya sita the illusory or the shadowy uh, version and ravan kidnaps her and uh, uh, the original sita stays with uh, agni's wife swaha so you know swaha is where uh, sita is kept under care and maya sita is uh, the one who's kidnapped and she goes to uh, lanka and uh, you know marich uh, tries to convince him but he doesn't listen so you know that story we all know about him taking the form of a deer and then the kidnapping happening so uh, here if you see uh, panchwati is where uh, the kidnapping happens and uh, the fight between jatayu and ravan happens at taked it's uh, near a town called budruk in maharashtra state there is a jatayu temple in udhar near pali which is his residence and the fight happens uh, in taked and uh, you know as he flies uh, after overcoming uh, jatayu uh, kishkinda me sita ji sees uh, a monkey sitting on a hill and she drops her ornaments and then uh, le pakshi is where you know there are uh, archaeological things which people refer to as events from uh, ramayan and then she is taken to sita kotua and the plane uh, the aerial chariot lands at veragan tota so tota in uh, sinhalese language means a port and there are there were six such ports in sri lanka as per the sri lankans and you know there are more than 50 sites which sri lankans believe were the sites related to the events of ramayana so now uh, when this is happening as you remember uh, uh, you know rambha's husband nal kuber had uh, cursed uh, ravan that if he forces himself on a unwilling lady his head will burst so she stays protected ravan gives her a time limit of uh, 12 months to make up her mind and uh, he tells the rakshasis to take uh, you know to guard her and then after after the rakshasis uh, are you know a little away indra appears uh, he stupefies uh, he you know numbs the rakshasis and he appears and he tells uh, sita to have some rice with ghee so she refuses because she says you could be a rakshas how do i know and then he proves his uh, uh, being a celestial by uh, you know having that luster 
his eyes not blinking and flowers remaining uh, fresh in the presence of luster also and then uh, he gives the rice and says you have this rice and you will not feel hunger till you are in captivity and she has it and then he leaves so now coming back to panchvati uh, that you know ravan uh, has taken uh, maya sita from here sita is with swaha agni's wife ram returns to panchvati where he meets lakshman on the way and he you know the description of him being heartbroken is really beautiful it is unimaginable that a uh, husband could feel so much pain for the loss of his wife and he starts running from tree to tree uh, asking trees have you seen my sita uh, he reaches the sea coast uh, where you know uh, there is a place in mumbai called valkeshwar where he makes a, a shivling out of valu valu means a sand in marathi and he uh, shoots an arrow and uh, gets fresh water so there is a place called ban ganga also in south mumbai so these two places exist even today then they return to panchvati because they've been looking and then he asks the river godavari have you seen my uh, wife then suddenly a deer uh, is looking at uh, shri ram and then uh, he asks the deer have you seen my wife so the deer looks in the sky and points in the south direction and uh, having no other option or choice the two brothers follow in the south direction and that's where they see the charioteer who uh, jatayu had killed they see the uh, broken armor of ravan and then little further they see ornaments of sita ji and then little further they see jatayu so jatayu just gives the information that uh, ravan has kidnapped her and taken her in the southern direction and he passes away so yahan pe uh, shri ram uh, and uh, lakshman do the antim uh, sanskar antim kriya of jatayu and then they uh, take a holy dip in the godavari and they go in the southern direction so now there is a story in anand ramayan uh, which is beautiful so as i said uh, parvati ji also asks uh, shiv ji ke how is this possible uh, you know that this man who is going to be the king of such a powerful kingdom and he can have as many wives as he wants but he is looking uh, for his wife so shiv ji says ke is you know this is for an example to be sent to the common person so that is why he is doing it but she is not convinced and she wants to test him so she takes the form of uh, sita and she appears before uh, shri ram but shri ram immediately recognizes her and says you know you are not uh, sita and i know you are not sita so uh, she says uh, she is embarrassed and she takes her real form and because of that embarrassment that uh, town gets named lajjapur uh, as per the anand ramayan scripture and uh, then as per local folklore uh, shri ram asks uh, parvati ji tu ka ai the why did you come here that's why i think the name gets uh, translated to tuljapur and there's a very beautiful ghat shila uh, in tuljapur where this incident is said to have happened and it as the scripture describes it does overlook a small uh, ghat which is a small uh, hillock and then anyway okay sorry i thought there was a question so then they go further south and uh, there uh, he overcomes ayomukhi and then he defeats kavan and uh, kavan the rakshas tells them to go west and uh, take the help of sugriv he doesn't say wali he says sugriv we will find out obviously people know and they go west and they cross many rivers small hills mountains and they reach kishkinda and there uh, on the banks of pump sarovar uh, which is the, the scripture says pump pushkarni which is why i think uh, the pump river of kerala is not because they are referring to a lake so that is why pump sarovar is kishkinda and there shabri uh, gives them uh, you know so again shabri is a tribal lady and she is a devotee or she is a disciple of uh, matang rishi who is again so called uh, lower caste and a scheduled tribe but he eats uh, her you know juthe bear so you know that's how varna is irrelevant uh, in ramayan and then uh, you know after uh, shabri ascends to devlok the uh, he again uh, you know the season is very uh, beautiful it's towards the end of vasant ritu and he the climate is beautiful and on the banks it's very beautiful so he remembers sita and he again becomes emotional so at that time sugriv sees uh, the two brothers and obviously being powerful kshatriyas they are very lustrous and strong so he gets little worried and he gets curious also so he sends hanuman ji and says you know you take a form of a brahman and you go there and find out who they are so hanuman ji takes the swarup of a brahman and he goes there and he starts speaking but the two brothers do not reply so then realizing he's reached a dead end he reverts back to his uh, vanar uh, form and he says that you know sugriv is the one who sent him and uh, you know he would like to meet you so he carries them on uh, 
his shoulders and he takes them to sugreev sugreev listens to the story and he agrees to help and offers friendship so ram ji bhi puchte ke you know uh, what is your background why are you living here so then he gives the story of uh, wali his brother and uh, this story is also very fascinating because uh, their father was a monkey called riksharaj so riksharaj had emerged from uh, the tears of brahma ji when he was doing meditation at mount meru there is a meru near uh, beyond badrinath in uttarakhand strait and uh, there uh, riksharaj had taken uh, birth from uh, brahma ji's uh, tears and there is a small pond there so later riksharaj takes a dip in that pond and when he, when he comes out he is turned into a beautiful woman so you know he surprised uh, how he turned into a beautiful woman at the same time through the celestial uh, route uh, indra and uh, surya are traveling and when they see this beautiful woman their uh, virya falls on the lady and uh, where it falls on the neck of the lady uh, wali is uh, 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 born and on the hair uh surya ka virya falls where when she give, would give birth to sugreev and after she gives birth to wali and sugreev brahma ji uh says okay he turns uh riksharaj back into male vanar and says you can go to kishkinda and stay and set up your kingdom there so then uh, uh riksharaj wali and uh, sugreev they move to kishkinda and a beautiful city is created by vishwakarma uh so he stays there with the other vanar and then uh, wali has killed uh, uh the danav called dundubi and he is also uh, then killed mayavi inside the cave uh, so uh, ram ji could have offered to take the uh, should have could have taken the help of wali but wali had kidnapped sugri's wife ruma and that was the most sinful thing to do at that time so he you know uh, he uh, wants to take the side of sugreev and not wali and agrees wants to kill uh, wali and have sugreev installed on the throne so now there is a lot of controversy about how he killed wali so wali is killed uh, by ram with a arrow on the chest so not from behind but also uh, not a direct encounter but he is from behind a tree so now wali asks why did you uh, kill me when i you know i could have helped you uh, get your wife back because i know through my spies that uh, ravan has sita ji so uh, uh you know ram gives a very beautiful long explanation uh, where he says that uh, uh you know first of all ruma ka kidnapping is wrong second sugri was unfairly exiled though he refused to relinquish the kingdom he was still exiled uh, i think there's a question mansi namaste uh, namaste thank you for the wonderful uh, and crystal clear structure of the session uh, i wanted to ask like uh, you also have mentioned it, uh, it's not in valmiki ramayan the concepts of chaya sita and lakshman rekha and other ones so uh, my question is is the kavi kalpana or the creative imagination from other sources relevant and whether it's in the first place a creative imagination or it is more like other people experiencing from their end or uh, probably they mentioned it in a way that it was actually going on in the parallel universe so, okay Uh, my question might sound a bit stupid but then this is really what is kind of bothering me no no it is not at all stupid in fact i have gone through the same uh, thoughts that you have and one of the main intention of writing a book is that only because you know when you think like that it starts getting labeled as a mythology which comes from the word myth which is mythia and it is not mythia it happened and uh, the humble attempt i'm making is to give cross references of many scriptures so okay valmiki ji uh, may have created a story okay but there are 34 scriptures i am referring to so 34 different authors cannot be and there are 300 versions of rama uh, ramayan which you all know so so many cross references are there that it cannot be a made up story and the other uh, humble attempt i have made is to give uh, about 300 locations in the entire book so when you supplement the scripture with a physical location what happens is it gets reinforced so it is not just a local folklore and it is not just in the scripture so from all three sides if we see then you know it reinforces that this was actually what happened now coming to the uh, event of maya sita so again so many other scriptures are mentioning it and it is logical also right i mean you know agni so vedvati story is there in devi bhagavatam it is there in skand puran it is there in other scriptures i have listed kurma puran so again different authors different timelines mentioning the story 
and they are all matching and she uh, you know takes pravesh in agni and then she's taken care of sita is taken care of by swaha who's agni's wife so again this is all logical so it is a matter of faith also it's a leap of faith so some people may question you know how did how did hanuman ji fly across the ocean so i mean there were powers it's our limitation that we are not able to accept or realize what has ha- happened in the past so if you keep your mind open and a lot of times it's a leap of faith also so as i said the attempt is to create so many cross references and locational evidences that it becomes reinforced that this really happened it's not a made up thing okay so uh, in anand ramayan uh, after uh, about when vali is about to die he uh, ram also gives him a boon that okay in the future uh, you will uh, you know help uh, you will ensure that i leave earth Uh, because of you just like you are leaving earth because of me and that uh, is the tribal named jar who was reborn and he is the one who sh- uh, sh- shot the arrow at krishna bhagwan's uh, toe at uh, somnath uh, in gujarat so this is this again uh, if you go to that location in somnath there is in fact a place like that balkatir and uh, where the arrow was shot and it is cross referenced by anand ramayan which means it you know there is scriptural evidence and a locational evidence Uh, what happens is after sugriv uh, is made the king uh, varsha rutu is about to start and then you know uh, i'll not go into the details but i'll try and be quick so what happens is he forgets about his uh, uh, promise to ram to find sita and then uh, lakshman ji after varsha rutu is over we have six rutus in hindu uh, customs so after varsha rutu is over lakshman comes to the court uh, of sugriv and he sees lot of beautiful women uh, so you know he uh gets very angry and there is a commotion in the palace because lakshman is angered and uh, uh, sugriv uh, is intoxicated and he is surrounded by many women so he sends he's sporting with both ruma and tara he sends tara uh to pacify lakshman and just before that ek cheez main bhul gaya ki shri ram uh, uh, when he killed uh, vali or when he shot the arrow he says it is well within his rights to shoot an animal in his kingdom so, which means Uh, you know animal can be ambushed and especially a sinful am- animal can be ambushed and the scriptures are very clear that whatever a person does to withhold the chastity or the uh, uh, you know importance of a lady everything anything is allowed it's it, there is no sin incurred so okay coming back to here so then uh, sugriv sends uh, you know his uh, messengers all the vanar from all over the world assemble in kishkinda he goes to meet uh, shri ram in the gufa and this is the phenomenal uh, list of kingdoms which the vanar go and look for sita and he's you know shri ram has already walked thousands of kilometers faced uh, you know ferocious rakshas and come here and now this is all the places where so uh, shri ram asks how do you uh, know so many places so he said when vali was chasing me i traveled through the world that's how i know and uh, quickly two very important phenomenal places uh the eastern most part which uh, sugriv tells the vanar to look at is an island where the uh, sun rises from it's called the island of the light rising sun it's called sudarshan island because it has the sudarshan lake there and near the lake there are beautiful flowers and there is a mountain there and the mountain is called uh, mountain uday and on top of that mountain there is another peak called saumanus so now a lot of people may have guessed it is it seems like it is uh, Uh, japan the land of the rising sun where there is uh, mount fuji and there is also uh, you know if you see there is a small peak on top of fuji and there is a cherry blossom festival which is famous even today and also uh, sugriv mentions that there is a path which goes to heaven uh, that's mentioned in valmiki ramayan and you know when i did some basic research i found out there's a place near kyoto the historic city prehistoric city of japan there actually is a path which the locals believe used to take them to heaven near kyoto and uh, java uh, uh, java deep and suvarna deep is commonly known that they went as far as indonesia to look so these are the places where they went and uh, you know where uh, so now all the teams return in a one month time span which was allocated except the southern team which is hanuman ji jamwant and angad and others so they have not found uh, the uh, uh location of sita and you know they are very thirsty from the search and they see some birds flying out of a cave and they realize they are uh, you know little wet so they think that they, there must be a water source inside they enter and they keep going inside and suddenly a fantasy land opens up 
uh, so he enters the, uh, they enter the cave and uh, there is a, a yogini uh, ascetic called uh, swayam prabha who uh, says that she is the friend of hema who is the wife of uh, mai danav you know these are the parents of mandodri and she hears the story and she feeds them with respect and then she uh, agrees to help them and within uh, they then she says why don't you close your eyes when they close their eyes she teleports them to the southern sea coast and the location mentioned is mahendra giri and there is a mahendra giri mahendra uh, kadamam hill range entire range uh, between kerala and uh, tamil nadu uh, where there is an actual parvat even there and maruthava uh, is a place which is on the southernmost end of this mountain range and there is a hanuman ji ka temple also on this uh, at this place so now uh, before we go to sundarkan just one small thing uh, hanuman ji doesn't know his uh, uh, his capabilities yet and uh, you know he is told by jamwant about his history I have a comment uh, dev okay. patnayak who's not very liked to now because he keeps calling it mythology and all the time uh, he's he he talks about how uh, the story ends with sita that when ram called her to the after after the agni pariksha after everything after love and kush were born जब वो उनको मिलती हैं तो उन्हें वापस दरबार में बुलाते हैं एंड ही सेज यू कम बैक एंड ज्वाइन मी सीता डज इन आंसर एंड और वो धरती में समा गई एंड और दैट ऑल दैट वॉज लेफ्ट वॉज द एंड ऑफ हर हेयर विच वी कॉल ग्रास नाउ दे से कि वो अपनी माँ के घर चली गई क्योंकि वो धरती में से आई थी तो वो उनका पीहर है और वो वहां पर चले गई there is a place called sita samahit stal uh, in uttar pradesh where this event is supposed to have happened and uh, so lo- in some places this event some scriptures it is mentioned some it is not and uh, i would not like to discount any scripture so i think it did happen and uh, there are reasons why it happened there is uh, the story happens in padma puran and uh, padma puran gives a description of why this event happened and we can discuss it now or we can discuss it later since the topic has come up Okay, I'll discuss it now. now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So a uh, lot of people, uh, even I had this doubt. Like, if she has done Agni Pariksha in Lanka, and that place is called Divrum Pula in Lanka, and even today, if someone takes a oath there, you know, uh, the local people blindly believe that because that's where uh, Sita's Agni Pariksha happened, and the exchange between Maya Sita and Sita happened there, and uh, the subsequent story. it's so fascinating that uh, you know agni wants uh, shri ram to marry vedvati or maya sita and he says okay i cannot do so because i am committed to one wife only but i'll do it in a future birth and uh, you know that connection comes to uh, tirupati balaji which is a, another uh, angle but now coming back to your question after the agni pariksha why did she have to uh, be uh, asked to leave ayodhya so the story of the washerman is all known but padma puran gives the description of who the washer uh, the dhobi was what happened is as a child in uh, mithila uh, sita ji had uh, captured two parrots and uh, the two parrots uh, were a couple and uh, usme se the lady was pregnant and you know because she found the birds very nice captivating she put them in a cage so the two parrots said you please let us go because uh, you know she is pregnant and we would like to have her deliver in the natural environment and we can come back to captivity after the delivery so she does not agree she is little adamant and that's where uh, the lady curses her to suffer during her pregnancy and unfortunately she the bird passes away and then the husband who is uh, really hurt he in a very angry state of mind he curses sita this is all in padma puran he curses uh, sita that uh, you will separate from your uh, husband during your pregnancy as per my wife's curse but i will become the cause and he is reborn as the washerman the dhobi in ayodhya so this is the story on why after agni pariksha also uh, she had to leave and of course this is only one side right sita's curse but why did shri ram have that idea of letting her go by the way b- before telling lakshman to drop her at uh, valmiki ji's ashram uh, he tells ke you know you either kill me because i cannot uh, i have to maintain the dignity of the suryavanshi dynasty or you drop her so after a long debate he drops her and vishnu ji also had suffered a curse what had happened is uh, in the past you know devasur ladai hoti rehti thi and during one of the devasur ladai shukracharya who was the guru of the asur his mother gives uh, protection to the asur who are fleeing the dev and you know obviously uh, she is also very powerful so the dev cannot defeat her 
and Vishnu ji ends up killing her, and she she is Bhrigu Rishi's wife, right? Shukracharya's parents. So when uh, Bhrigu ji comes there, Rishi Bhrigu, he is a very angry Rishi. He curses Vishnu ji that you will have to take birth on earth and se- suffer separation from your wife. So these are the two reasons, and this story comes in many scriptures of this curse. And then of course he restores his wife. Bhrigu ji restores his wife through his yogic uh, powers. But these are the two curses. Which is why they separate again after Agni Pariksha. It was it was mentioned that Valmiki's ashram was somewhere near Chitrakoot, but there is uh, uh, near Kanpur there is Bitpur. Yes, yes. So I believe that uh, all this event happened at yes. that place. Yes, it happened in uh, Bitpur only. I have listed about in one of the subsequent slides, not in this talk. I have listed more than ten places where Valmiki ji had an ashram. so uh, if you remember in uh, sita mata forest near chittor also i mentioned there was a valmiki ashram he is originally from a place called uh, mulasthan uh, that is multan this story is in uh, i think skanda puran and this is where you know he is a robber and that uh, he approaches the sages and then he goes to his house that story lot of people know and then he becomes he decides to become a, a rishi and narad ji tells him to do tapasya in uh, mahakal one which is ujjain present day ujjain and there are as per local folklore there are valmiki ashrams in amritsar also and lahore also so you know if you follow multan lahore uh, amritsar ujjain that again is a line then uh, he meets with uh, uh, the people in uh, chittor and there is a valmiki ashram in uh, Ch- uh, in uh, bit uh, chitrakoot and uh, then also bithur is the place because that's where uh, sita ji is left behind because valmiki uh, uh, ramayan is very clear that uh he's uh lakshman leaves her on the other on the southern banks of the river ganga which is exactly where bithur is so this entire event of love kush taking birth and uh, of the ashwamedh yagna ka horse being uh, captured by kush and love is bithur there are many other locations all over the country where valmiki ji is said to have had his ashram including the nepal bihar border there is valmiki nagar then there is one in near chennai and there is another one in tamil nadu and there is one in pulapalli uh, pushpapalli i think in kerala so there are 10 12 different ashrams and that also brings out beautifully the unity of uh, you know some people try to create the north south divide which never was so it was all seamless so rishishringa also had an ashram in karnataka valmiki ji also had an ashram in the south two in uh, tamil nadu one in kerala so many in east others in west and north so it was all a seamless country so yes bitur is the location where this all happened but there were other locations where he moved because this happened over a span of time so regarding uh, bitur there is a uh, story there is a temple in kanpur asha devi temple it is and uh, there it is said that sita uh, during her pregnancy she had worship there and this uh, idol is really very old and there is uh, an inscription in brahmi so far undeciphered so uh, i mean uh, bithur temple sita de sita ji temple in bithur also where she believed that she lived there but that temple is quite uh, not so old but this asha devi temp- uh, idol is very old much and uh, in antiquity it is uh, far beyond this okay so how far is it from kanpur exactly 11 kilometers from okay Bishu so places. you know maybe the ashram and the temple was not very far off and uh, as the uh, scriptures describe the ashram was not only one single cottage uh, so in uh, i think anand ramayan or somewhere it mentions that when sita ji came there a lot of children who were playing around uh, rishiyo ke bete or betiya so they saw a lady weeping and they rushed back to the ashram and they called the parents and valmiki ji also comes there and he says i know who you are and what has happened and uh, and then uh, you know she is welcomed with a traditional aarti by the ladies of the ashram and she asks valmiki ji how can i reunite with my husband and he says uh, you should do the sayogi karan vrat which she does so maybe the sayogi karan vrat which is mentioned in the scripture was where this temple is that you are mentioning maybe i have to do research before i text them i just want to make a comment when shri okay. ram killed wali uh, he stood behind seven trees the reason was that wali was given a boon that if he fights an enemy he will get half the strength of the enemy yes and shri ram's strength was well known 
His arms were so long, they came below his uh, knees. That is why he was called Sujan Bahu. Right. And the reason why he stood there, because Bali would have died with the weight of Ram's strength. Ram was so powerful. If half his strength went to Bali, he would have died with the weight of the strength. His body could not manage it. That is why he took protection of those seven trees. Okay. And came so, in one shot. So you can well imagine piercing seven trees and then killing Bali. How okay. powerful it must have been. So the scriptures, uh, I accept what you have said, ma'am. Uh, but mm -hmm. the scriptures have a slightly different story. Uh, so when mm -hmm. uh, Sugriv explained uh, his background, mm -hmm. he wants to test uh, Ram's, Ram's strength. So he throws mm -hmm. the bones of uh, Dunduvi and you mm -hmm. know he says, okay, I'm not very impressed. And then that's mm -hmm. when uh, Sri Ram fires an arrow which pierces mm -hmm. seven sal trees and mm -hmm. it circles the earth and comes back to his quiver. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, because uh, Wali also had pierced seven sal trees, but his mm -hmm. arrow did not encircle the earth and come back. Mm -hmm. So, so now Sugri is convinced that he's in the company of uh, divinity and he mm -hmm. falls on his feet and, he, uh, you know, promises to help him after Wali is killed. And mm -hmm. the story about shooting from behind, uh, the scripture very clearly says he was shot on the chest. So, if you are behind Wali, you cannot get shot on the chest. So, he was from behind a tree. And the part about him gaining half the strength is also absolutely true. So, you know, I mentioned in brief the explanation. There is no sin that a Kshatriya will incur if he kills a sinful animal. And again, if a lady, if there has been a Durvevar with a lady, there is no sin incurred in any action that a king takes to protect the honor of a woman. So that is the story of the scripture. There may be other variations which you have mentioned that could also be you know, uh, one of the other versions of Ramayana. Okay. And uh, it was a pleasure to have you. Uh, okay. For the audience, we will schedule subsequent parts of this talk uh, in the coming months and most likely before Diwali. Uh, so be on the lookout. Thank you so much, Gaurangji, for being with us. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for listening. Namaste. Namaste. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram.